Hello everybody, welcome back to the usual channel. I'm uh, driving really early in the morning. Uh, really early, it's 8 o'clock. Just dropped Angi to work. And Yumi sitting in the back watching some television. And we are on the way to get some uh, gasoline in Germany. So here, there you see. One kilometer and then we are in Germany. Kato is also with us. Yeah, he didn't want to be alone. It's uh, pretty cold. I think it's like minus two or something. Feels like minus 200. I had to uh, de-ice the Jeep because it was not parked in the garage. Because it still didn't clean up the garage. I want to show you guys the... What's wrong? No, every everything is frozen, it's not snow. It, it was snowing a little bit, but it was wet snow yesterday. So uh, what I wanted to say, yeah, I, I want to show you guys the, the the difference in price from Germany, Holland, with uh, the, the difference in price of gasoline. Uh, I'm not gonna film at the gas station because they're, they're pretty uh, private in here in Germany. They don't like uh, that you film stuff. The last time I was, uh, making some photos of the Jeep at the gas station and uh, a Karen came out pretty uh, pretty aggressive Once she realized I was uh, only making pictures of the Jeep. It was okay, but uh, Whoa, yeah, what's up? Yeah, she wanted to call the manager. I think the Karen was the owner of the shop to be honest it's, it's not a, uh, I say Karen because she was a little bit anal at the time, but to be honest, it, yeah, to be honest, it's, it's a nice woman. She's always uh, really friendly, uh, but uh, at that at that day, I, um, I don't know, maybe uh, she she didn't sleep well, I don't know. Yeah, wait, I, I just wanted to show you guys now, uh, here we are almost at the gas station and you guys see the prices so we are going to do super plus that is 174.9 and the super the normal one is one uh, basically 168 so now let's get on to here i will just turn off now so just uh, dropped ayumi to school we're driving back home but before that i want to show you guys of course the gasoline price here in uh, in Holland already filled up the car in Germany it's uh, snowing with rain wet snow oh, yeah that's uh, that's awesome pretty nasty weather to be honest uh, I'm going Kato. Kato chilling. Drive past it. But these are the prices here in Holland. So the Supreme being the, the 98 octane. The one that I need for my Jeep, uh, maybe need is a, is a big word, but uh, I think that is the best for the Jeep. The other one is 95, but here in Holland they put 10% ethanol in it. I don't think that's good for your engine. And I already know that for the iGo because uh, the iGo has a broken... Um... Oh, this is awesome. So the bus is uh, blocking my road. And I'm standing here. Awesome, awesome. One eternity later. So I already mentioned that in another video. I thought in Germany you have 95 octane gasoline and then 95 octane with the 10% ethanol. They call that the E10. And you have the 95 octane with 5% ethanol. And then you have 
the 95, uh, the 98. And I always put the 98. But here in Holland, you have 98 or 95. And they, in the 95, they put just 10% uh, ethanol. And I don't know if there are any gas stations that have the, but the normal uh, 95. So yeah, that's the, quite annoying. So I always put gasoline in uh, in Germany. If I have to do it in Holland, uh, if there is no other way, then I, I'm putting uh, the, the 98, of course, here in Holland. A couple of days ago, I brought my in-laws to the to the airport, the Schiphol Airport. So that's in Amsterdam area one and a half hour drive more or less uh, up and down that will take me one tank of gas so yeah that's uh pretty uneconomical but yeah you know that with an srt um but then i put some gasoline next to the highway in the car and that was two euro 20 per liter yeah and that's pretty awesome so driving back now um, the whole reason that I make this video, of course, I, I wanted to show you guys the the gasoline prices, but uh, Angi was whining about the headlights. The headlights of the Jeep are shining too low. When I had the yearly inspection a couple of months ago, I noticed that the dude that was doing the yearly inspection, uh, when they check the headlights, they do that with a device. They check. Can you say stand? Uh, how the how they shine? I don't know. Uh, how uh, I think it's also be, uh, how clear they shine, but also in the direction of how they shine. They have to be on a certain level. That is because one headlight is shining in front of the car, uh, but it has to be adjusted a little bit in such a way that you don't shine everybody in the face. And the other headlight is shining next to the road, basically. Do those kids see me? Yeah, they see me. Um, that that one can shine far, but it is it's adjusted a little bit uh, horizontally away from the middle of the car, basically. I think uh, everywhere it's the same, to be honest. But anyway, uh, he adjusted that, I saw that, so he effed up a little bit the, the stand of the, the lamps, if I can say it like that. So I'm going to adjust that. I'm only going to adjust uh, the vertical movement of the lights. So I will show you guys that. Now I will first drive home. Arrived home. Let's park. Oh yeah, parking with one hand. Hello, pretty Lexus. But I'm gonna park the Jeep this way. So you guys can see later the height on the wall when I adjust it. So let's park just like this, put it in park. I leave the mirrors open because they get frozen at night. So, first coffee. So pretty busy today. I'm going to adjust the lights. I'm gonna drink my coffee. Yeah, relax. What's wrong? Such a happy dog. I will get him a treat. I will get him a treat. He uh, he has his own closet. In the top. Um, what we're going to give him? We're going to give him a little duck skin bone thingy. Oh yeah, you like that. So, this is all focato. 
Yeah, ni nice food. And some other food. And a lot of treats there. And there's a, a big box with cookies. But I know he likes that uh, most. So uh, today, uh, this, uh, we're gonna drink a coffee, then we're gonna do the headlights of the Jeep. I wanna do, I'm busy with my painting, new painting, it's called Red Man. It's uh, uh, based on a painting of uh, Basquiat, which uh, I, I love Basquiat. Picasso and Basquiat are my number ones. So what I did is uh, the Red Man, that's basically me. I did it in my way. Uh, and then I put the cars. He also had the cars there, but I, I did it my way. I still have to color them because I want the cars white. Here is my Jeep. And here is the before facelift. Opel and my beloved Cadillac. And then here is going to be some stuff. Wow. Pretty busy. Don't have a lot of time for that. So I hope I can color that today. I bought some, uh, some stift for that. Special paint stift. Yeah, they're covering really good. They're really uh, expensive also. It's pretty annoying. But um, yeah, let's do that. Um, uh, and then at 12 o'clock, Princess is free. And then I want to go to the zoo. Maybe I can show you guys something there because in the zoo they have something there that is pretty awesome. But I will put that in another video then. So let's now sit down and then uh, drink the coffee. With the pleasure of having some Automotive television, and then uh, we're gonna do the headlights. Now yeah, you're enjoying yourself? Hmm? Cato Tito? Pretty doggy? Yeah, it's nice, eh? Oh, yes. Such a happy doggy. Always hungry. Come on. Yeah, it's sick. It's so good. And it's sort of like got all tires on the front, so yeah. What tip are you gonna Which one? Hang on. What is? What is that? Okay, yeah, so Me one. Me one. Okay, he's hyper. Okay, no, stay, stay. Kato, 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 kato. Daddy goes. Kato, relax. Kato, li kato, kato. No, no. You stay here. No, don't. Why do you want my hands? You stay here. Yeah, you stay here, Kato, and you be quiet. Just for a few minutes. I'm just for a few minutes gone. Yeah, relax. Yeah, I don't want you outside because he's pretty clean and I cleaned up the, the garden a little bit and it's a little bit muddy. And it keeps on raining here, it's so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna put my jacket on. Seriously, hair in my eye. Awesome. Man. Okay. Philips head. I read that I have an export model Jeep. And that the domestic ones have a Torx. Don't quote me on it, but uh, you guys will find out when you check it. Let's uh, take my ring off, if I can. So. Oh yeah. Pretty baby. So here. There it is. And if you can watch inside, you can see a Philips head. Now this is an export model. You guys can see that. There. Export vehicle. Oh yeah. You can also uh, see it because of the fender flares. Okay, let's turn on the lights and adjust this. It's pretty freaking cold. Kato is not quiet. Hmm, it's difficult to see, ah, it doesn't matter, you, you guys can still see I hope, so gonna put, see, gonna put it here, there, and then,
I hope you guys see that. So, I think I will leave it like that. Then we go to the other side. That's a little bit better. We go also put it in counterclockwise. So, I think this is enough. I hope. But we have to wait for the queen to drive the Jeep. Now I will smash it closed. Why am I smashing it? I have to uh, WD-40 uh, it a little bit. Off, lights off, and it's done. That's it. Oh, pretty Lex is getting all wet because it was freezing. Everything was frozen and now it's getting uh, watery. So yeah, I really need to drive this car because getting uh, dirty. Jeep is also really dirty. So yeah, dirty Jeep. That's about it. Hopefully the queen is happy. Everything for the queen. So that's the video. I'm going to... Uh, what did you... What did you do? Why you get my scarf? Leave it, see everything he tries to get off the table. All right, relax, relax. Why are you so freaking hyper? Cut off. Seriously. Okay, I'm going to uh, paint a little bit. And then uh, at 12 o'clock, I'm going to pick up my uh, little princess and we go to the zoo. That was the video for today. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it was a little bit uh, of uh, use. Plus, and uh, still have a hair in my eye. Highly annoying. I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, uh, there was a lot of time between the videos that was also because my in-laws were here for three weeks and hyper busy i also have my job still and i had corona quite a while ago but i still have uh, sometimes some issues so that's uh, quite annoying to be honest but i will try to do at least every week one upload it would be nice if i have more also here in europe we have now the Essen motor show going on I completely forgot about it. Today is basically the only day that I can go, but I promised my little princess that we go to the zoo. So instead of going to the Essen Motor Show, uh, I'm going to the zoo. And I have to skip this year's Essen Motor Show because it's still a couple of days, but I took free today from work to go to the zoo with my little princess. And for the rest of the week, in the weekend also, I have to work. So no uh, motor show this year. Uh, that was content for the for the YouTube to be honest but yeah we have to do it without this time we're gonna you know do a lot of work on all the cars and maybe I can make some other footage for car related so that's it that's the video Kato say bye say bye say bye 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 oh, why are you so hyper okay see you guys next time later